time to wipe the tears off a grown man's face. Welcome to YouTube Quantum TV. This is how it works. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. Hello, everybody. Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. And let me ask you a question. Do you take a dump with the door open? Yeah, I didn't think so. You don't want the whole world to see what you're doing with those holes. Well, if you don't have ExpressVPN, it's the equivalent of being in a Zoom call, thinking that you hung up, and then you whip out the lotion to do things that no one wants to see. Would you want your ISP seeing what you're looking at in incognito mode and then selling that to advertisers? No, you wouldn't because you look at some creepy stuff, don't you? Yeah, you do. That's why you need ExpressVPN. Well, guess what? If you don't have ExpressVPN, these things could happen to you. I use ExpressVPN every evening when I live stream because it protects my IP address and will stop the weirdos out there from performing a distributed denial of service attack, which has happened to me before and is not fun shuts down your internet. So go to expressvpn.com slash RTU or go to the link below in the description to get three months of the service free. That's expressvpn.com slash RTU to get three months free. Unless you want your internet provider to know what your browsing history is. I see what you're doing on there. Shame on you. Get ExpressVPN now. I love when companies and people abuse the copyright system. I love when The Verge went after me for talking about their terrible PC build, doing a live stream on it, which was as fair use as fair use comes, and struck down the video. Then, when they had a whole bunch of bad PR, all the videos that they struck down, they repealed those strikes because it was, it was out of the kindness of their heart or it was a PR nightmare for them and they abused the copyright system and they knew they would lose in court. Streisand effect, anyone? Hey, you know what would have happened, Verge, if you didn't do that? No one would have talked about it. But, well, anyway, there is a YouTuber named Quantum TV that, that I guess never got that memo that striking down videos that do fall under fair use is a bad idea or at least flagging them for copyright, I should say, is a bad idea. And he decided to go that route. Now, initially, he has up a new review of Elden Ring today. He put up a review of Elden Ring. He didn't like the game. I have no issue with that. I bought the game and haven't even played it yet. I'm not a diehard Dark Souls fan. I suck at the games. I've probably played at most three hours total of the Souls series. So this is not me white knighting for the Souls series, Quantum TV. You're lumping everyone who's calling you out into that category. If Dark Souls cease to exist tomorrow, I wouldn't lose a wink of sleep. And I will warn you of this now, Quantum TV. I am going to show footage from your videos in here, a decent amount, but I'm also going to comment on them quite a bit. You come after me and try to flag my videos, I will get a lawyer and make your day very bad because you will be abusing the copyright system. I'm warning you now, this is fair use try me. Well, he has a way with words too. And, and some of the one-liners here he uses are quite interesting, but this is a, uh, multi, this is a two part story here. And the first video he put out after he got a bunch of flack from the gaming community was called why I quit Elden ring and it's gaming community Elden ring review part two. And I'll have links below to his original videos. I'm also giving you credit for the videos too, quantum. Uh, this is the, uh, Highlights that I picked out though, the quality ones, I will also be commenting and stopping the video. Let's take a look at Discuss, shall we? A game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made in my opinion. Games are supposed to be fun, transcend the reality that we have right now, take you to new worlds, give you new abilities, you're allowed to do things that you never ever could do in the real world without consequence, and be accessible to anyone regardless of experience level. Wrong. I don't like JRPGs. Should they make JRPGs so I like them? That's a genre of game. To make a JRPG a game that I would like, it wouldn't be a JRPG anymore. So that game, that genre of game should not be made to cater to me. Okay? <laughs> there are grandmas that like to play Candy Crush. Should they make Call of Duty more like Candy Crush and Team Deathmatch more like Candy Crush so grandma wants to play Call of Duty Vanguard? No, there's different genres of games for a reason. You saying that you want every game made for everybody, what are we going to have? Every game be like Wii Sports? That was the, we already start off with a dumb take, but but let, let's continue because that's just the beginning from this man. That's why, why I play games. Like, I don't play games to be stressed out. And so when I pick up Elden Ring. That's fine. I'm the same way. I play games on normal. Sometimes I even play games on easy. I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want the challenge sometimes. I want my brain to take a break, but that's me. 
I'm smart enough to realize that I am not the entire gaming community. Everyone wants different challenges. Everyone wants different genres of games. No, every game should not be made for everybody. Now, I did argue initially, and I still kind of hold to it, that I wish there was like a there's the insanely hard mode that all Souls games are and then make like a, a, a in between a normal and a hard where it's not easy enough to be called normal mode but you're just getting slightly less fisted like you're getting fisted with a bare fist and not a fist that is uh you know wrapped in sandpaper but hey there's many people that disagree with me on that so we could agree to disagree but you seem to take it a step further so let's continue and I keep dying, and the bosses are hard, and you have to keep grinding. It just turns into a grind fest. If you took the thrill of dying a bunch of times out, or if the bosses were really easy, I'm pretty sure most of you diehard fans would probably be pissed off and probably call the game what it really is. Trash. But that is the appeal to many people that are Souls fans. The appeal that they have. Again, like I said, I wish it had a normal mode, and I made an argument about it before, but many people say, Rich, that is the exciting part. You, you learn the patterns of the bosses. You learn to have patience. You learn to actually use technique instead of just mashing buttons like in every other action platformer out there. You have to actually utilize all the different text neat techniques the game the from software games offer you you can't just be like oh i'm not going to use this t this technique because ah, i don't really feel like it you don't use it you'll die against a certain enemy people like that people like the challenge people like that you're constantly on your toes that's fine you don't like it i don't necessarily like it either but people are going to call you out on it because that's the community, man. Look what just happened with my editor and I with our GT7 video. Do you think I got all nothing but pleasant comments when it comes to that? Gee, even DMs that I got, people were saying wonderful, heartwarming things. <laughs> ah, no, they were. They were. They were. It was the exact opposite. But that's the that's the internet. That's what they do. You you must be relatively new to this because this is nothing. But you seem to not be handling it well. Again, I'm new to the franchise. I had no idea what it is. And then, of course, when you go to the community as a new gamer, you would if you would think right as a gamer, you'd have people being welcoming. I had maybe five people in the whole comment thread, like, "Hey, man, you know, let's do those bosses together. I'll help you out." Wait, hold on, hold on. He expects the internet to be nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, did you, no, of course not. What do you think is going to happen? This isn't even just in the gaming community. You have fanatics for a celebrity or a politician or anything that there is huge fandom for. Do you think they're going to come to you and be like, oh, oh, you're having problems with the Elder Scrolls. We could be here to help you out because we're in the gaming community. What, what race are you part of? Are you part of the human race? Are you kidding me? Do you really? <laughs> oh, my God. No. If you got nothing but positive comments, I would have been shocked. Th this is just how it goes, man. You you're going to deal with negativity every single day. I am shocked that you're a grown man and don't realize this. What did you think that this was going to there would be a bunch of Mr. Rogers coming out of the woodwork to kiss your butt cheeks and teach you how to play Elden Ring? Come on, dude. What planet do you live on? You know, only five people. The rest of them were like, oh, you're a clown. You've lost credibility. It's, it's demeaning, player shaming bull <laughs> because you're... Yeah, that's that's the internet. That's what I deal with on a daily basis. It's what everyone deals with on a daily basis. Every single person on here, even a YouTuber with 500 subs. If, if I didn't get negative comments, harsh negative comments on a daily basis, I would be nervous thinking that there was someone wrong and they were probably like plotting to swap me that day. <laughs> <laughs> like it's par for the course oh wow someone told me to off myself must be oh look it's it's a it's a wednesday yeah it's a normal wednesday in the office due to a game that's known by the way for being incredibly <laughs> difficult and it's your fault not the devs fault for not thinking of every single player of all kinds of walks of life they don't care it, it's it's a challenge and it has to be for players who think every game is <laughs> easy and if you aren't one of those players then you are a scumbag you filthy casual at the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. I'm not going to sit here and, like, be demeaned and talked down to because I don't enjoy a sh fest of a game. He told the people that are talking crap to him to go kill themselves. That was 2016. You don't do that. 
do you do you think that this is going to stop people from coming after you, dude? Apparently you do, obviously, because you wouldn't have made these videos. But if anything, now people are going to come at you 10 times harder and then you tell them to kill themselves. You had an opinion on a very popular franchise. You got a, a negative opinion. It's it's an opinion that is not the the popular opinion. Trust me, I know. Just went through it, and I'm probably going to be going through it again. Just went through it with Gran Turismo 7. What did you expect? But you, as a content creator with over 50,000 subscribers, which is not a small amount of subscribers, telling people who are calling you names to kill themselves, you probably just ended your career. But anyway, there's a sequel to what this man said, and... Uh, it gets worse. He admits to flagging videos where they used his content, like I am right now, without his permission. Okay, uh, Mundane Matt. Love you, Mundane Matt. Water under the bridge, but let's continue. And this video is titled, Elden Ring Players Cry Wolf When Told to Not Steal Other Creators' Videos. Here's why. Again, link below in the description to the full video. Here is my super cut with commentary. Enjoy. You have a YouTuber by the name of Mischief steals my entire video with Yeah, so he went after a smaller YouTuber and flagged his video because he used his content without his permission, which, again, if, if I went after everyone who did that on a daily basis, it would be a review flagging USA. And then he tries to sit here and justify it. He goes into much more detail than this and cries a hell of a lot more than I have here, but let's continue. Third-party legal software uploads it in its entirety, basically, to YouTube, calls it fair use, goes through and thinks that you talking and, and, and smack talking is fair use. There, let, me, let me explain what fair use is for people wondering. Fair use is when you use like a second of the video. That is if you're using video without commentary on it. That is if the video is not a transformative work. If I just took your video, even if I edited it and didn't have commentary over it, that would that's pretty much not fair use. It's definitely not fair use. This right now, what I'm doing there, Quantum TV, is fair use. It's as fair use as fair use comes. Doesn't matter how much of your footage I'm using. I am adding plenty of commentary to it. This is fair use. You don't understand how this system works. I'll teach you, son. This is how it works. But you're going to try to teach everyone else who's been doing this longer than you how fair use works. Please, by all means, let's continue. Yo, five seconds of the video or vastly less than what the full duration of the original video was. He didn't do that. And then when you're using majority of somebody's video and you're letting the vast majority play unedited, that's not fair use. You're not really, you know, you can make your point of criticism without letting pretty much the entire video play. And that was my gripe. So I, in you know why people show decent portions of videos when, when they're making commentaries, criticizing you or praising you or whatever, depending is because they want to show the evidence of what they're talking about. I hate making videos where I can't show B-roll or like what I'm doing here because then it could be, oh, Rich, that's hearsay. I don't know that he really said it. I don't know that he really did this. I don't know that he really did that. Whereas if you have the footage there, at least it leans to the point that I I'm showing evidence. Now, of course, I know this firsthand. People have done it with my videos. People could chop up crap and take it out of context and, and, and try to make it seem like you said or did something you didn't do. But that's why people want to show footage and sometimes a substantial portion of footage and it still falls under fair use like I'm doing right now because I'm commentating over it even with a chunk of Quantum TV's video in there. This guy is out of his mind, but he keeps going. Introduce this concept to this kid and I tell him, listen. And he's he's very like, he makes sure you know that he's a smaller YouTuber and it's like, yeah, man, I'm squashing you down. I'm squashing you like a bug. Don't believe me, here we go. Hey man, you know, you just stole my video off of my platform because you're not a YouTube premium member. And of course, it hit with a- Doesn't matter, it, it still falls under the same terms of service and legal guidelines if he, he downloaded the video as a YouTube premium member or not. Also to you, moron, when you download a video in YouTube premium, it just lets you keep it in the YouTube app. You're not downloading it and, and it just gives you the MP4 file that you could use anywhere. What the hell does it matter if he's a premium member or not? You don't know what you're talking about, and that's proof right there. I received lawsuit. I guarantee you, when they ask him, hey, 
how'd you get this footage? You know what he would say? Uh, stole it. Because that's, that's what these, these gamers do. These gamers. I love that part too. No, they would be like, yeah, this is fair use. He, it was a transformative work. And you would probably lose in court and look like an idiot. Verge has a lot of money and a lot of lawyers. Don't you think if they had a case against YouTubers who were just stealing footage, showing that disastrous PC build, that they would have just let it go? No, of course they wouldn't have, man. If they had a legal case, they would have loved to make an example about us so we didn't have the right to question them again. Who the hell are you? You're going to sit there and say that that's going to hold up in court? What a joke. It's not going to hold up in court. You have no idea what you're talking about. But if you're a YouTube premium member, yeah, you can actually absolutely use the footage. That would show, totally change it legally. They use this stupid website shit. They rip videos down off of YouTube. They smack talk and smear somebody's reputation that they don't like for the moment and move on to the next person. You know, Dude, they're calling you out and don't like your take. That's not smearing you. You know how many people are smearing me right now again because of my Gran Turismo 7 video? <laughs> you know how many times I've been smeared before? Even by Griffin Gaming. He mentions Griffin Gaming in this video. I'm friends with Griffin Gaming. He's allowed to have a critical take on me and vice versa. He's also big for doing this, Griffin Gaming. Hey! hey! You mentioned Griffin Gaming. Applause. Please clap. There's so many gamers that do this toxic shit where they find somebody they want to bully and they think the shit works. It doesn't work, people. I'm not you. Calling you out is not bullying you. Y you, you are... I am watching a man right now just totally destroy whatever chance he had at having a YouTube channel. You built up a following, man. 50 Over 50,000 subscribers, especially in 2022, is tough to get. But all that's thrown out the window now because you, you, you're, you're pulling a DSP. Congratulations. I'm not backing down. I'm annoyed. You steal videos and you, you, you lie through your fucking <laughs> teeth. This guy is going around to every YouTuber he can fucking <laughs> find saying, he's saying I'm violating YouTube's terms of service and he's bullying me. He's playing the fucking <laughs> victim. Let me, let me put this on the screen for- He's right. There, we are, there is a unspoken oath. First and foremost, he did nothing wrong. Secondly, I have had my footage used literally in that GameStop movie that just came out. Did they come to me and be like, where's my phone at? I don't, I, it's in my pocket. We're like, hey, Rich, even though it's fair use, do we have to uh, uh, get, we, we need permission from you. No, they didn't. They just used it. It's fair use. I, I have, I wouldn't have a case if I wanted to go after them. Oh, well, you don't get how it works. So if, if, a, if a movie can be put out using my footage and they don't have to ask my permission, who the hell are you? Think. Think, use the brain that, but maybe, maybe they had a YouTube premium membership. <laughs> Every month right now that needs to see this shit. This little turd literally pulled his own video. It wasn't even a strike. As a person who has done this before too, and I was in the right, let me explain to you why Quantum TV, you don't really seem to be all there because you don't want to deal with the headache. It's not that he was in the wrong and he was guilty and he was sweeping it under the rug. He didn't want to deal with you. And there are times that I, where I knew I had a case and would have won it pretty much every time where I'm like, you know what? I just don't feel like dealing with it. I'm taking the video down. So don't use that as damning evidence against him. Sometimes it's just like, Jesus, this, this guy's just not going to let it go. I'm just getting rid of it. So he stops crying. He didn't do it because, out of guilt. He did it to pacify you. And it still didn't pacify you. I got all these <laughs> calling me out of my name. I'm a scumbag. I'm this, that, and the third, right? I'm the bad guy here for telling some small punk that wants to steal from other people. He's really obsessed with his YouTube size. He's really obsessed with it. It's almost like if he was a YouTuber with a larger following, he wouldn't have done this. Hmm. He didn't say that. I'm not going to put words in his mouth. But the way he's saying things here, he sure as hell is insinuating it. And it really pisses me off. And just shit on them. Just absolutely shit on everything they're working for and working on with their channel. And, and, and literally just look at them in the face and say, you know what? I'm going to rip you off. Dude, people do that to me every day. You know what the worst thing to do is when people take your stuff and you don't like their opinions or they're trying to be disparaging? Or you think they're trying to be disparaging, I should say. It, it, it seems like this guy would take even harsh criticism as an insult. You just ignore him. What you're doing right now is putting a spotlight on all the negativity. Take it from a guy who was, who fed the trolls a buffet on a daily basis until 
early 2018, late 2017. You are, do- I don't you think, like I said, hate to bring it up again, the Gran Turismo 7 video, I am receiving DMs and messages and tweets and all this nonstop. You know what I'm doing with virtually all of them, minus one, ignoring them and moving on, not making videos, crying about it, because all that would do is give them a spotlight and motivate them to do even more. But you must have missed that memo, too, that feeding the trolls is a bad idea. But I wouldn't consider Griffin Gaming or Mischief a troll. They were just giving harsh opinions about why they disagreed with you on Elden Ring. Stop just saying shit's fair use because you feel like because you talked on somebody's video that that gives you the right to their content. It doesn't. That is what fair use is. Yes, there is a gray area when you pull a Pokemane and you giggle and fart and watch an entire Hollywood movie and want to say, oh, I giggled and farted, so that's fair use. That's an extreme. But that's exactly what fair use is. This is fair use. I I love when people who, without a doubt, don't know what they're talking about, pretend they know what they're talking about, and trying to make their audience believe they know what they're talking about. Man, is this guy doing a disservice right now. So many ways that a fair use case can fall to <laughs> pieces, but the number one way is piracy. You're literally going on YouTube, stealing their videos, and re-uploading them. He didn't just upload your video without any commentary to it. He didn't just upload your video, edit it, and not add anything to it. He it was, it was transformative work. That is fair use. He didn't just take the videos from your channel and mirror them on his channel. Were you born yesterday? yourself and your channel and i tried to be the nice guy and explain this to this kid how kind of you how sweet of you to uh incorrectly explain how fair use works and copyright use works to uh this kid can't hear reason instead they argue and they go back and forth about why you should play the game why you're wrong all this shit all this shit nobody cares it's a fucking <laughs> video game man you definitely seem to care quite a bit You've made multiple videos on this, and you re-uploaded another Elden Ring review today. Don't tell me you don't care. <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't care. I'm just going to make multiple videos on it and re-upload my Elden Ring review. You obviously do care. You're flagging people's videos as well. You care quite a bit. You are passionate about this. You are you have fire in your eyes. I could tell how by how much we had to edit out the damn swears in your video. They're gonna attack you and really try to bully you and push you into a corner. I can't be bullied. Let me let me be very clear. I cannot be bullied. I don't give a f about your feelings about me not liking Elden Ring. I'm not gonna play this shit. You obviously do care about their feelings. You just the video right there is a fact that you do. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something right now. You're never going to come back from this. I don't wish you any ill will. I, I condemn anyone bothering you, but this is how you destroy your career. Ask mundane Matt. He admits to it. Now I'm friends with the guy. He'll be the first to tell you that was the mistake that destroyed him. And you're doing the same thing. People use my footage every damn day without buying for permission. And you know what I do? Not a thing. First off, 99.9% .9 of it is fair use. And honestly, even the crap that isn't fair use that I would be fully within my right to flag, I don't care. I just move on and want to make more content. I used to do this all the time, and it's exhausting. You're wasting your time, and quite frankly, you're at this point, it's probably too late for your channel. I'll end this video with this, and people always ask me for YouTube advice, which... I would probably be the last person to come for for YouTube advice, but this one I know is valid. Don't let this kind of stuff eat you alive and don't upload this kind of content and don't act like this guy. Let it go. People are always going to use your content. People are always going to use your footage. And no matter what he says, making videos like this are fair use. Do not come after me, Quantum TV, because I will make sure to get a good lawyer to go after you. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.